Hello, this is Raimundo Burgueño, and this is a quick tip on rotational instances. Let's say you're designing a wheel and you want to see how it looks like in the end. The first thing I'm going to do is add symmetry to the layer so I can see both sides. And then I'm going to open my object lister tool. Now I'm going to select all of these curves and then I'm going to make them into a group using edit group. Now I'm going to make rotational copies of this group, but I want them to be an instance as opposed to an actual copy. So I go to edit duplicate object. Uh, I want 8, so I'm going to go number 7, and rotation is going to be 45, and instance. So now what this actually did is all of those are actually not duplicates, but instances. So anything I do to one side, the other, the, all the other components will, will mimic. Let's say I want to do some more things, like smooth out these curves using the curve fillet tool. Um, as you can see here, the, every other curve is getting trimmed but the fillet isn't going there. And this is why I have my object lister open. As you can see there in the layer, the, the, the fillets are there, but they're not inside the group. So the only thing you have to do is select those fillets, and then you use your middle mouse button, and then you drag it into that node. And once you let it go, you get a, a nice little copy of, um, of your design. And since you still have history, you could even change the, the fillet size and, and all the corresponding spokes will, will change it's a great way to do some quick design modeling.